guys welcome back to my channel my name is charles peace in today's video i will show you how to make a custom bra cup or you can call it a ready-made bra cup for your concept so guys if you're new to my channel you are highly welcome thank you for tuning in to my channel for my returning subscribers thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon to be notified anytime i upload a new video now for the item i need a foam pad this is foam pad for your boss here so i'm gonna use it to make a custom bra cup instead of you to buy a ready-made one you can easily make it and this one can give you exactly what you want so guys and I will use this for as pattern paper. This had gum stay. So guys, the three important points I need to make this custom bra cup is my boss point, my under boss, and my chest line. But I'm going to start from my shoulder so that you understand it very well. So I'm measuring from the shoulder. In case if you want to use it as a yoke, I will cut out the yoke, then cut out the bra cup. So, guys, I'm marking my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is 8 inches. I'm not going to add any allowance to it. This is 8 inches. I'll just mark my 8 inches. It's not necessary. It's in case if you want to add a yoke. That's why I'm adding all this side. So, for my armhole, I'm going to mark... Eight inches. Then I will join the lines. Then I will go ahead and mark my bust point. My bust point is ten point five inches. This ten point five inches here, and my under bust is fourteen point five inches. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the lines. Now, I'll go ahead and mark for my neckline 3.5 at the shoulder side and 4 inches for the depth of the neckline. With my curved ruler, I'll go ahead and connect the lines, this point and this point together. Then I'll mark one inch for my shoulder slope. I'll connect the lines to this shoulder side. So guys, the next thing I'll do is to mark my bust to bust. My bust to bust measurement is 3.5 inches. I'll go ahead and mark 3.5 inches. Then from this boss point, this is boss point. This is my under bust. This boss point here, I will come up by two and a half inches, depending on how you want. You want your own to be covered very well. You can make it two and a half or two inches. But if you want your boss to show, you can make it 1.5 or one inch. So I'll go ahead and mark 2.5 inches. At this point then i'll mark a straight line to connect to this shoulders armhole side can see that so guys the next thing i'll do then at this midpoint i've remember i've already marked my 3.5 inches i will still mark it at this chest line this is now my chest line so i'll go ahead and connect a straight line that join the chest line boss point and my under bust you can see that then for me to have a sweetheart neckline i'm gonna come in by half inch here for this side i will mark one inch can see 
So this half inch, I'll connect it to this bus point. Then I'll connect the lines. Now, the next thing I will do now is to connect this point to this point, to the chest line, in order to get my sweetheart slope. With a curved ruler, I'll go ahead and connect it. Now, at this point, I'll come down by half inch here. Then I'll connect this point to this point. To get my dart, I will mark 1.5 from this midpoint and 1.5 to this armhole side. I'll mark 1.5 here and 1.5 here. Now at this point, I will as well come up by half inch here. And at this point, I will come up by half inch here. So I'll connect this line to this boss point. And I swear connect this line to this boss point. Then the next thing I will do is to connect this point now to this point. With my curved ruler. I'll first of all, connect this side to this boss point before I connect it to the other side. I swear connect this side to the boss point. Then from this point, I will then connect this point to this point. Now, to determine this side, remember my bust to bust is 3.5 inches. So I'll go ahead and add 3.5, depending on your bust size, is from 40, you can use 4 inches, depending on the size of your bust. So my bust is 39 inches. So I'm using 7 inches for my bust to bust. So if your bust to bust is 8 inches, that means you are marking 4 inches here. Now my own is 3.5. So I will as well, if this 3.5, I'll add extra half inch, making it 4 inches. So for this side now, I will mark 4 inches here. You can see that I already have half inch that I've marked up, up here. Remember, I minus half inch. I come up by half inch here. So I want to make the lines to rhyme. So I will, I will then use my curved ruler to connect this point to this point. And from this point as well, I'll connect it to this point. You can see that. I'll go ahead and cut it out. This is three pieces black up. There is some that is four, there is some that is two. So what I'm cutting is three pieces black up.
so guys i've actually cut out the three pieces so i'm gonna separate it so i numbered it i'm gonna be careful and follow it up so that i will not misplace each of them you can see that the next thing i'll do is to join it i'm not gonna join it the way we normally join I'll just overlap it like so. So I'll go ahead and double stitch on it. I'll just place it on top of the other and sew with double stitch on two of them. After that, I'll show you the next thing I will do. So guys, you can see I've sewn it, I've joined it. The same thing to the second one so the next thing i'll do the same way i join this one i'll place it on top of the one i've sewn already to cover it up i'll go to my sewing machine now and sew it after then i'll show you the next thing i'll do so guys you can see i've already sewn two of them so if you want it to go deeper you can go ahead you can shape it with half inch it will go more deeper so but if you want it this way you can leave it so guys it's very easy to make so if you want it to be deeper i'll go ahead and top stitch it so that you see how it looks from this line here just fold it and sew with half inch the same thing to this side i'll go ahead and sew it after then i'll show you how it will now look so guys i've actually shaped it with i use 0.3 instead of half inch so i shaped it at the midpoint so you can see how it looks it covers very well much more than the already made bra cap so guys just try it it's very simple and easy to make i hope this video is helpful drop your comments at the comment section if you have any question so guys if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified anytime i upload a new video give it a thumbs up share to your friends and bye until i see you in my next video bye